Right, I was fertiling around in the forums and saw quite a few people had obviously just picked up the game and they were asking the basics of, well, how the hell do you shoot in this thing? I don't know how to shoot. So, first of all, uh, we'll just talk about aiming, first of all. Um, so, you look, you just use your mouse to look around, so I get my pants kicked, uh, and then you right click and that zooms you in. Um, and then what you typically do is, this red line is just a marker, it means nothing, it's just where did I aim the last time. Spacebar does one shot, so that was a bit long. You really want to be maybe shooting short, it's easier to see where it lands. Uh, watch out for the waves. And then when you think you've got a clean shot, I'll do another spacebar. So that was about on the water line. And then if you click you fire everything you've got. Now you'll see here uh, it shows ball, that's me reloading. Now at the moment I've got my guys um, in sailing mode. I can press 7, you'll see at the bottom of the screen there, and you'll hear the whistle going. So now I've dropped down from to gunnery. This will mean I reload slightly faster. That was a good hit on him. So you press shift to go into zoom. see there three nice hits uh, I'm not I've kind of driven into the wind here which is a bit silly um, I can change sides so I right click to come out of gunnery mode and then right click to go back in so what you're doing with the red line is it just helps you remember where you were looking the last time so uh, I know that I just really on the red line on about the watermark just above the watermark So press shift to zoom in. In zoom in, you can use your mouse wheel to scroll back and forward. It will remember that. Um, now, there's different ways your cannons fire. See, so if you look down at the bottom of the screen there, you'll see rolling front fire mode is what I've got selected. That basically means the front cannon, the cannon nearest to the front of my ship, will always fire first. Um, and you'll just wait. Um, I'll fire a volley off, and what will happen is it will walk from the f all the way down from the front right of my boat here down to the back. Now, in a little ship like this with only six guns, that's not the most important thing in the world. But with a big ship, if you're broadsiding, um, if you roll fire from the front, you can open up as your nose draws as your nose draws level with the back of the ship, the stern of their ship. Um, and then you can just open up and it will walk the shots down the ship. Uh, now the other modes, oh, we're all too far forward, the other modes that you can switch to is the opposite of this, which is rolling back. So now my first shot will be fired from my left as I go forward. Um, or random, which just means you yell downstairs, Oi! Fire everything! And that's exactly what they do. Um, so, in gunnery mode, uh, which I'm in, the guys reload a little bit quicker than if you're in sailing mode. Uh, but, like, right now I've taken a bit of damage on the front, so I might choose repair and ship repair. The whistles will go off again, and uh, my reload will be about 20% slower now, because... Half of my crew are downstairs, furtling around. Would be if I'd selected. Oh, I've done the repair already, have I? Apparently, I have. Um, so let's go back to gunnery. And maybe get a shot off Jay. Now, the other element that you can do is I'm just going to switch it back to front fire because that's my normal way of doing things. The other thing you can do is this sector focus. So what the hell sector focus? Doesn't sound very 18th, 19th century gibberings to me. Well, sector focus um, is where do your cannonballs converge? Um, so at the moment, I've just got wherever I aim. But if I set sector focus 
to 100 meters, it basically means all the cannons will try and shoot at exactly the same spot. There's dispersal, of course, because these things are kind of a bit crap. Uh, I'm into the wind again, I'm really not paying attention. You can then change the sector focus to be 250. So if you imagine when it's on auto, basically your guns fire like a fork. They just go straight out. Um, they're not angling at all. Okay, well that's a bit they're not angling at all, they're just firing straight out uh, in a direct line. If you set sector focus, they'll try and converge on the centre of that red line. Um, now, if you're firing at the back of a ship, um, you can try and knock the rudder out by firing at the waterline. Uh, eventually, on the bigger ships, you'll learn where they store their magazines and their powder. Um, so you could aim, you know, deliberately at the back of a ship there, and that's where you'd want the sector focus, and then you'd have to guess the range out to 100 metres. Uh, obviously, if the ship's 110 metres, you're still going to be shooting, uh, it's just that they're going to converge at 100 metres and then they're going to go through to 120 or whatever the range is that you've set. They're all a bit high. Now, a couple of other things that's important when you're fighting uh, is the speed you're doing in the sails. Obviously, the faster you're going, the more you have to lead your target. Uh, but also, when the wind... I'm just trying to turn it around. When the wind is into you, your ship leans back and up. If you go to battle sails... Uh, it levels your ship out. Fundamentally, your, your, your sails are at half-mast, and uh, that stops the wind pushing your ship over quite so much. Just they're all hits, that's a nice volley. So I've stripped away all of his armour on that side. So now hits will start causing leaks, it'll also damage his, uh, his cannons. I, at the moment, he's, uh, we'll see how many cannons he's got operational at the moment. He's reloading, it says at the top right there, zero out of six ports, because he's, he's reloading. Um, now there is different types of cannonballs. So I've got six pound long cannonballs, they're good for sniping at range. Uh, your default on a cutter is four, four pound. So cannonballs is nothing special, they're not explosive, they're not grenades. Uh, basically, uh, firing a cannonball is about the size of a grapefruit. We're all gamers, so we've never seen a grapefruit other than in a hotel once by accident. But about the size of a baby's head. Um, and they just do brutal damage. They just punch in holes in wood. Ships can take enormous damage because generally all you're doing is ventilation. You're not... It's not like a modern ship where you're destroying heaps of components and knocking out engine rooms. Uh, fundamentally, you're just you're bashing holes, killing people, chopping legs off. Uh, in this case, you're nobbling the sails. If you fire slightly above, and you can't do it with only six guns, but if you fire slightly above, you can try and take the mast out. And that will require them then to use a particular repair kit um, to fix the mast. So if I aim at the mast, and I'm just going to go to... Uh, 100 meter. If I aim at the mast, there's absolutely no chance this will work. But if I aim about there, uh, there's a chance you can demast them, which is a, it looks fantastic, uh, and b, it asses them up because you you turn into a barge. And barges don't make very good uh, seafaring vessels. Um, the other thing you can do is you can change what you're loading. So again, uh, I can go here and I can go to chain. Now, what chain is good for? It's good for messing up your opponent's sails, which lets you slow them down. So I can come in here, and I'm going to aim higher, so I'm lifting my little red bar. Remember, the red bar does nothing. It's just where you're looking at. It's to give you a reference. It's taking a bit longer for me to load now, because um, I'm changing the shot type. So chain is fundamentally lots of little small cannonballs held together by chain and they spin through the air and they rip holes in the sails um, and sail damage obviously slows you down if you're sailing with a tea bag uh, it's not the best thing so let's just uh, we'll do one and there you go you see a bit of a hole and then we'll put the rest through um, and now you'll see in the top right hand side the status of his ship um, Basically, it says he's got 92% sales, so he's 8% slower than he was before. 
Um, if someone's ever on your ass and you've got rear guns, that's a good way of helping to get them off your ass. Um, if you're chasing someone down and you're of even, even speed, uh, putting a few shots into the sails will eventually allow you to catch them up. Quite often in the battles where you're in a small ship and there's a lot of big ships, you taking out the sails is a good thing to do. Now the next type is grape. Now grape is basically, it's a horrible thing. It's basically a bag of, a bucket of nails and what it does is it kills crew. Now the best way to grape is to go up the backside of someone and do what's called a stern shot. Um, and if you like, you get yourself level with the bum of the ship and uh, you fire a raking shot of grape. You can imagine it going right the way across the deck and nailing all the sailors. And grape's what you want to be doing uh, if you're intending to board and capture a ship. Uh, he's taking water on now. In fact, I think he's sinking. He might have gone. Uh, yeah, he has. He's sunk. So that's the three types of shot. Um, that's, a, that's a raking shot across the back, but it's not with great. Uh, just a couple of other things. So I'm running a basic cutter. Um, I can go with four pound. Uh, I can go with um, six pound guns. The other one you can go with is carronades. Now carronades, um, if you imagine uh, your regular um, your regular cannonball is the size of a baby's head. Carronades, it's an adult's head that you're firing. Um, and they do heaps of damage, but they only work from very close up. So, a um, great way to get XP, uh, but you have to be a bit ballsy. Uh, probably a bit of a good sailor too, so you're not always wearing their broadside, so you're moving off them and then moving back on them. Um, great up the arse, you can rip the back of a ship, ship off quite easily with a, a carronade volley. And a lot of players who are trying to level quickly, they'll stack carronades on, they'll join a battle with a few ships in where they're not the focus of the enemy and um, basically they'll, uh, they'll, they'll score lots of damage. Just a couple of other things, if you are in a big fight with lots of other ships, staying in this view here and only focusing on your target, while it's very exciting, um, you have to make sure you're not sailing into your friends. So a good idea is, as soon as you've let a volley off, uh, come out, have a look around, uh, think about which way you're going, check the wind, think about what you want to be doing with the wind. Uh, and just on ranging, I said at the start, the best thing to do, just as a recap, is you go in, you fire one shot with a space, so let's pretend our target's further away. You get this on, that's where it's landed, and now you can adjust a little bit up, a little bit down, maybe fire off another ranging shot. Let's pretend that's hit, you're delighted, and then you release the spanking. Um, so you'll hear about people talking about a ranging shot. Well, that's what a ranging shot is. The first shot is to see, did it hit? It's always best to guess a little bit short, because if it goes through the ship, you can't see how far past it's gone. Uh, but yeah, that's about the size of it. Um, battle sails to even your keel, so you're not leaning up and your shots aren't too high, or even worse, too low in stormy seas. Use a ranging shot, press spacebar. Um, select gunnery mode for 20% quicker reload time. Um, the different types of ammo, ball, your baby's head, weighs about 12 pounds, um, which for those of you who've gone metric is 3 litres and 7 millimetres. Um, it uh, is the classic way to damage the hull of a ship. You might get lucky and do mast one if you aim just above the ship's line. Uh, chain is how you arse up someone's sails, turn them into tea bags, they can't catch the wind. And then grape is the nasty stuff. It's a bucket of nails, and you're, you're doing it to thin the crew. Uh, pretty brutal, really, uh, but that allows you to board. So there you go, just a very quick tutorial on shooting. So I hope that was of some use. If you enjoy your naval action videos and want to keep up with this channel, please subscribe. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you around.